Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Energy 6 2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a look at the ME security terminal. And the ME security terminal is made by four iron ingots, one engineering processor, two and glass cables, uh, fluix glass cable or white or orange or like you want. One is 16k ME storage component and at least one a normal chest. And you need the ME security terminal for your server. If you play on a server you um, and you want to protect your ME network and you don't have um, some modifications like FTP chunks or teams or something else, um, you can use in the ME security terminal to protect your apply applied energy logistics 2 network. And I will show you how it works. Um, firstly, you need it to configure your wireless terminal. That's um, very, very important. Um, and you can see um, if on the wireless terminal we have already created one NBD tag. That means I'm, um, I'm permitted to use this network for example and um, you need to know that, that uh, only one security terminal per network can exist and um, yeah if we want to set um, some special um, special permissions on our network we need to give some people we want to give access um, a biometric card um, um, these guys need to uh, shift and right click and um, with that we will get an ID out of our on our biometric card and um, now we can put in the biometric card like this we can um, select between different um, different, different um, dangers you can say that um, the user is allowed to store in something um, remove items for example and initiate new crafting jobs um, modify the physical structure for example and the user can access and modify the security terminal so you can uh, give us some different um, yeah different rights and to uh, use your implied energy 6 to me network and um, yeah that's uh, how you can use the me security terminal thanks for watching and bye